Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The quarterfinals of the FCS season, I know, right? The quarterfinals of the FCS playoffs. Also, one other game, we'll talk about that other game in a moment. So, what happened yesterday truly was very interesting. You know, four games, uh, like I said, there were going to be four good games, four to five good games, and the other the others weren't going to be so good. To my surprise, let's just talk about the Delaware Sacred Heart game first because that was the last game that wrapped up. Uh, Sacred Heart gave Delaware, you know, a hell of a fight. They gave them one hell of a fight to the very end. You know, they were down two for like most of that fourth quarter. And then, you know, finally, you know, Delaware got that last touchdown in and boom, there you go. It, it was done right there. Valiant effort. By the Pioneers, valiant effort. Well, you know, Jacksonville State beat up on Davidson. That was pretty much expected. You know, sorry, Davidson. You know, your first playoff appearance and you get blown out like that. It's okay. And in the meantime, Delaware Jacksonville State is going to be the only game. And keep in mind, all these games will be next Sunday, which is very surprising. All these games will be next Sunday. We thought there was going to be some games on May first. It turns out that is not the case, uh, but we'll talk about you know the the other three games in a moment as we you know keep on going here, you know. But Delaware Jacksonville State is the only game that's going to be on ESPN three. That game will be at two o'clock on Sunday. Of course, you know there was the opportunity to put every game on an ESPN network that isn't ESPN three or ESPN plus. But you know what, ESPN just does what they want, so it is what it is. Um, on one other side of the bracket, North Dakota State just beat up on Eastern Washington. We're talking, they scored 35 straight points. 35 straight against Eastern Washington. And I mean, I, I honestly thought that the game was supposed to be in Eastern Washington, but it, it turned out it was in the Fargo Dome. Very surprising stuff right there. Uh... But yeah, everything seemed to click, and things just started to click at the right time for the Bison. Because, I mean, there is. That was just crazy. Crazy stuff right there. The team they will be taking on had the fight against Mammoth. I did say Mammoth was going to be a bit of a scary, scary time for the Bearcats of Sam Houston. And they only won one by six. And Mammoth, you know, almost, almost got it. Almost got the W. They almost got the W, so you know, Sam Houston has to be real careful. They will be hosting North Dakota State. They have to be really, really careful now. You can't you can't mess this up. You cannot mess this up if you're you know if you're the Bearcats. You can't mess this up. You have to get, you know, something going. You have to get a W against the Bison. Ugh. So we move up to the upper half of the bracket here. You know, I'm going up to these upper halves of these brackets here. And, you know, James Madison, they beat BMI. But BMI kept it real close. Again, very valiant effort by the key debts. It's a shame their season had to come to an end. But James Madison moves on. The number three seed, they move on. North Dakota, they are back. And they have done what they needed to do. And that is just beat up. On Missouri State, they beat them up so bad. It was real rough out there. Let me tell you that much. Forty-four to ten. You know that was the score there. Um, so North Dakota, Jade Madison. That game is going to be you know after the North Dakota State, Sam Houston game. So North Dakota State, Sam Houston will be at two, and then the James Madison North Dakota game will be at five, and. Uh, keep in mind I'm talking Central Time. And then the last game here is that, you know, South Dakota State, who beat up on Holy Cross. I mean, to be fair, it is Holy Cross. You know, I thought Holy Cross put up a little bit of a fight, but I guess not. It didn't happen. So, number one overall seed, South Dakota State, moving on. The take on Southern Illinois. I know, right? Southern Illinois? I thought Weaver State was legit. No, like I said... Um, like I said a couple of days ago, I I think Weber State would get very far, you know, 
if they didn't, you know, improve themselves, that they didn't, you know, get themselves together, and they didn't get themselves together. That's why they lost like three points. That's why the Wildcats, they've been limping through the season. They limped through the season undefeated. And they were there, they were definitely not supposed to be seated. And that's that's how Southern Illinois is in the quarterfinals, baby. That's how they're in the quarterfinals. <sighs> So, so the fact that we have a all Missouri Valley matchup in the second round is going to be very interesting to see right there. Let me tell you that much. So yeah, that that last game will kick off at eight Central. You know the South Dakota State Southern Illinois game, and I told you the Salukis they ain't no slouch. They ain't no slouch. So South Dakota State has to you know they have to get everything together. You know all four of these games are going to be one one great set of games. These eight teams that are remaining. It's going to be very fun. It's going to be very fun for them. And in the meantime, on May 1st, so, you know, backtrack a day, we have the SWAC Championship. That is right. The SWAC Championship game. Oh my goodness. Going to be one hell of a show for the SWAC, baby. That's right. Alabama A&M undefeated Alabama A&M taking on Arkansas Pine Bluff also undefeated both these teams unfortunately however unfortunately the game was moved to Jacksonville to, I, mean, not, I mean not Jacksonville State Jackson State's Mississippi Veterans Memorial Stadium Jackson Mississippi so that's kind of rough there because the SWAC just doesn't want to be you know they don't want to have a game in Arkansas Pine Bluff for some reason I don't, I don't get it Maybe it's COVID restrictions. Maybe it's just they wanted to get, you know, the game with, you know, having the most people there as possible. I don't know. It is what it is. <sighs> but, yeah, Alabama a and they did what they needed to do. At Arkansas, Pine Bluff did what they needed to do. So both these teams, you know, this is going to be one hell of a game on May 1st. I am going to watch this game, of course. You know, and to see who will win the SWAC this year, because I mean, there was no Alcorn State. Remember that Alcorn State, you know, opted out, and all their games got counted as a W for those who played in the season. And you know, in the SWAC this year, it really, it really looked like it was the Jackson State show for all of about a week or so, and yet, you know, Jackson State continued to get many more games televised stuff like that there was also the case of Southern going to the FCS playoffs but that that honestly wasn't going to happen you know the SWAC is not a very good conference and people need to stop thinking it is you know especially the HBCU fandom who continue to think that the SWAC is really good but it's really not you know and that's that's why the Celebration Bowl was created because the SWAC is not a very good conference you know, sure they're getting strengthened up this year with Fabi with Bethune Cookman joining, you know, later on this year. But you know, they have to step it up completely if you want respect. You have to step it up. You have to step up scheduling. You can't be scheduling Edward Waters, and you, you can't. You, you just can't be doing that. You have to schedule tougher opponents. You have to get tougher. You have to get more money invested into your program you know you can't have you know neutral site classics all the time you have to actually have some home games you know you actually have to have more than two three home games so and speaking of home games I don't think Arkansas Pine Bluff had a home game this year I don't think so the fact that they got this game moved anyway it, either it was either Arkansas Pine Bluff or Alabama a and that didn't have any home games this year let me check real quick yeah, it was Alabama A&M that didn't have any home games. Yeah. Yeah, it was Alabama A&M. Had absolutely zero home games. Zero. Zero home games. It's pretty sad. It's actually pretty sad that they had no home games this year. Uh, but yeah. You know, the thing I've been saying for months and months and months and months and months now is that the SWAC needs to get better at scheduling and stuff like that. 
you know, along with the MEAC, you know, they're fine. They're, because of the way their conference has been, you know, been ravaged, they're, they're finally, you know, the MEAC is getting a little bit better. As you can see, if you've been keeping up with football schedules and stuff like that, you'll notice, you know, the schedules for 2021 for the fall will be coming out for MEAC teams and SWAC teams. And the MEAC schedules look a lot better than the SWAC schedules, at least in non conference and stuff like that. You know, that's the here and there. But this game is going to be one hell of a game for the SWAC championship. I can guarantee you that. Uh, and I mean, you know, Alabama and m can throw the ball. They can they can throw the ball up and down the field. Let me tell you that. I mean, man, it's going to be interesting to see how they do. And Arkansas Pine Bluff somehow, you know, we're still trying to figure out how in the world they get past Southern. How in the world they get past Grambling. How in the world did they do that? How'd they do that? We don't know. We don't know. But we but we saw it. We saw it happen this year. So that's gonna pretty much do it. Um, quarterfinals. You know, gonna be very fun. I don't know if I'm gonna watch all of them. I know they're going to be on ESPN networks, but I have another commitment earlier on on Sunday. The SWAC championship I'm definitely watching. That's gonna be very fun to see. I believe that game will be on ESPN2. Yeah, that game will be on ESPN2. Of course, you know, the two of the quarterfinals are going to be on ESPN2, and one of them is going to be on ESPN. Of course, we all know the Delaware game, the Delaware-Jacksonville State game. It's going to be, unfortunately, on ESPN3. don't know why the games were scheduled for May 1st and May 2nd when there weren't any, you know, games scheduled for May 1st, but whatever. But we do have, you know, two straight days of football you know, for us all to consume, and I'm gonna love every second of it, so I'll see you guys, you know, again with another video very soon. Y'all take care. Have a good day.